Hey everybody, I want to take a second to do a quick video this week about attention to detail. Uh, attention to detail is pretty important as a recording engineer, and I want to show you a common occurrence uh, that I probably see when I get things sent to me oh, at least once or twice a month. Uh, this right here is supposed to be a singer, uh, a pair of tracks from a singer, left and right. And you obviously see that they're different, okay? Um, so when you're using uh, any DAW, Pro Tools, Logic, GarageBand, Cubase, whatever, make sure you understand, um, first of all, how to fade the edges of your recordings. Um, so for instance, let me play this example for you. I'll start here. And I want you to listen to what happens when we get to the end of this note. Okay, so first of all, you can see that they don't cut off at the same time. The, you know, that's easily fixable in editing. But did you hear this audible pop here? That's caused when something is chopped off and then not faded. So if I had done something like this, faded, say I wanted to shorten the note, I would make, it would make a sound like this. Okay, nice clean cutoff. The other thing you want to make sure that you're careful of before you export uh, out of Logic, for instance, because I know a lot of people are working in Logic because it's an inexpensive option with lots of powerful tools. It's really great for composers. Um, you want to be careful if you accidentally mute something or um, just decide not to use something. Uh, if you accidentally mute something, you might get uh, an instance like this. <laughs> So besides the fact that we missed a fade there as well, uh, we lost three notes. And when this gets sent to me, uh, you know, immediately the first thing I'm going to do is contact the tracking engineer and say, hey, could you check this and see if that exists? A lot of times someone's accidentally deleted something and they can't get it back or they can't find it. So then I have to go about creating a fake double uh, here, which involves copying the existing notes, um, duplicating it essentially, and then offsetting it and detuning it to, to make it sound like there's another person there. But if you just have a little bit of attention to detail, you can avoid things like this. And you don't really want it to sound like this. Okay, attention to detail, so important try to make sure you spend some time learning uh, those elements of your DAW so that you know how to fade, how to uh, delete or mute regions, and then consolidate without getting all sorts of pops and clicks and stuff like that. Because first and foremost, it saves time and it saves you money. Uh, on average, when I get a session like this that has lots of bad fit or non-existent fades and pops and things like this, it might add 10 minutes to editing. It might add 15. It might add an hour uh, that just didn't need to be spent and uh, would have been saved if you'd taken two seconds to, to make sure that everything was faded correctly. In a DAW-like uh, Pro Tools, I can macro fade, I can do a batch fade where I can essentially, you know, so let's say I want to highlight everything on both these, oops, highlight everything on both these tracks. I can fade everything all at the same time and it will create fades for me. Some, some DAWs you have to do that by hand, but it's just something good to know. So thanks again for watching. Um, I really like all the people that are commenting on the YouTube videos. That's a great place for uh, you to ask a question about the videos or ask about something that you'd like me to cover. Uh, as you've seen, I will always respond and usually I will make another video to answer that question. So head on over to recordingacapella.com and check it out. Got some new blog articles over there and I hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.